Inside Grealish's city struggles from playing safe to Pep Guardiola demands. Jack Grealish arrived as a record £100 million ready to push Manchester City to another level. Grealish, 26, was one of England's stars of the Euros, became a national favourite as it felt the whole country was pleading with Gareth Southgate to put him in the starting lineup. But five months into his City career, Grealish looks to be a player weighed down by the hype and expectation that goes with his price tag. Grealish has yet to find a regular place in the City team, he has admitted he has found it tougher than he expected and has a tendency to drift out of games. City are in magnificent form, they made it 10 wins on the bounce at Brentford to go 8 points clear at the top of the Premier League. But the reality is they are doing it without their big, record summer signing who is throwing up more questions than answers with his performances. He has managed just two goals in 15 Premier League appearances. TV pundit Alan Shearer accused Grealish of playing safe and said, it looked as if he was scared to lose possession and take a gamble. He should be saying he wants to be the star in this team. They've paid £100 million for me. It's not my fault they have paid that, but I am going to show you my quality. Former England international Karen Carney perhaps made an even more pertinent point in that it will take time for Grealish to adapt to Pep Guardiola's style and demands. BBC pundit Carney said, he's not the first player to come to Manchester City in his first season and find it difficult. They play a very particular way under a manager that is probably very different and that's why he is the best. You look at Joe Cancelo, you look at Rodri, at times they struggled when they first came in and they are just a couple that come to mind. Grealish has had stints as a false nine but has not looked comfortable. When he has played wide, there has been a tendency to slow the game down whereas the likes of Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva and Raheem Sterling moved the ball much quicker. City have been superb this season because, after missing out on Harry Kane in the summer, Guardiola has seemed even more determined to get his players to show even more fluidity up front, they have become interchangeable, and they are better than ever to watch. If you add into the equation that Silva and Sterling look like surplus to requirements in the summer, they have come back with a point to prove and are enjoying stellar seasons which perhaps underlines Grealish's shortcomings. Grealish was the big star at Aston Villa, the talisman and captain. But now, despite being the most expensive signing, he is just one of many forwards in the squad. Guardiola was not impressed with Phil Foden and Grealish for an ill-timed night out before Christmas. Foden gave the perfect response at Brentford, while Grealish could not get himself into the game. No one should doubt Grealish's talent because his control, dribbling ability and skill make him potentially one of the Premier League's great entertainers. But it is now a question of what happens next. Does he become the next Triad Mahrez who costs £60 million and delivers in flashes, rather than a big star in the best team in the country? Or does he follow in the footsteps of Sterling and Silva who overcame doubts and obstacles to shine? Write them off at your peril, because they always rise to the challenge. Grealish does have one thing in his favor. His own determination.